Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thursday's night's versus battle between Southern hip hop legends Gucci Mane and Jeezy, were, which seemed to settle 15 years of beef between the two rappers, took an unexpected turn when the topic of real estate emerged. The viral musical battle webcast, which knitted nearly 2 million viewers, including Gucci 40 giving jabs on Jeezy's outfit, including a remark on how the two should host a jewellery versus in the next broadcast. But Jeezy43 responded that the two should focus on wise investments such as property, adding that he's got a ton of real estate and owns over half of Atlanta. Jeezy, whose net worth was estimated by Forbes in 2013 at 6 million, and more recently at 10 million from the far less official celebrity net worth website, quickly became the subject of Twitter memes created from the seemingly old man exchange. They beg the question as to whether he indeed owns half of the city's real estate. In short, no, but Jeezy's real estate investments are nothing to sniff at and have attracted headlines over the past several years. Back in 2007, Jeezy, also known as the Snowman and his legal name, J. Wayne Jenkins, purchased a two-story penthouse at the Phoenix on Peachtree Condo Complex for $1.32 million. The 3,140 square foot spread gave him three bedrooms and four bathrooms, as well as floor-to-ceiling windows and a massive custom closet that housed his many pairs of shoes. In 2013, he listed the condo for a loss at $1.1 million, ultimately selling it for $950,000 in 2014. In later years, he was more lucky with his real estate holdings. In 2015, according to TMZ, Jeezy spent $1.5 million on a 9,000 square foot home outside of Atlanta just a month before he had weapons charges against him dismissed in connection with a fatal shooting at a Wiz Khalifa concert in 2014. His home, which sits on a 1.2 acre lot, has six bedrooms and seven bathrooms. In 2016, he notched another real estate whim. He snagged a three-story home near the campus of Georgia Tech for $6,850,000 specifically also per TMZ. The pad was a revamped foreclosure and Jeezy got it for $45,000 below its asking price. This pad has three bedrooms, indoor and outdoor fireplaces, a two-car garage and a roof deck accessible via an elevator that looks out to city views. Jeezy converted the, that three-story property into a studio compound, as mentioned in a 2017 feature in Converter. It spread across three buildings, which he called the Embassy. Features there include studios, a game room, a bar shop, and an office. And yes, that roof terrace with an outdoor television and lounge furniture. I wanted to create something that was boutique style, to fit your every need from health to being comfortable to being able to get everything done in one space, he told the publication. When you're here, you've got the whole space. You're able to get everything done, eat upstairs with the chef, and if you need to go somewhere, there's a driver, you can get haircuts in the barbershop, there's a gym. If you need to go away for a minute, there's a rooftop cigar lounge upstairs. Thank you for listening. For more celebrity news, please like, comment, and subscribe.